Right friends, welcome back to mini capsule. This is on South Asia satellite, India launched South Asia satellite which is known as GSAT-9 and here the message conveyed by the country is more geopolitical than geospatial and the important point is it is in confirmation of India's neighborhood first policy and the same satellite was announced two and a half years ago during the SARC summit at Kathmandu in November 14 and now excluding Pakistan, remaining six countries of SARC are going to benefit out of this satellite and this satellite will have 12 KU band transponders. This 12 KU band transponders will function in specified range of so and so gigahertz to so and so gigahertz and one KU transponder each is nominated for our six neighboring countries of SARC excluding Pakistan and in fact the total cost of the project is 450 crores and it is also a strong message to China which is preparing to demonstrate its global clout at Belt and Road Forum and if you look at the further aspects in South Asia region, Pakistan and Sri Lanka have already launched satellites with the help of China. Now Afghanistan, Maldives and Nepal are discussing with China with regard to launching satellites. So China's footprint is already there and Bangladesh is going to launch its first satellite Bangabandhu and this is working with some European agency for launch of Bangabandhu right under these circumstances. Let us look at the genesis of Indian space program. The first Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru set up this INCOSPAR. INCOSPAR means Indian National Committee for Space Research in 1962 and he gave the responsibility to Vikram Sarabhai and subsequently India launched a sounding rocket in 1963 and subsequently earth station satellite communication earth station was established in 1967 and ISRO was established in 1969. In fact, INCOSPAR was converted into ISRO in 1969, Aryabhatta was launched in 1975 and the rest is history. Aryabhatta which was launched in 1975 completed 40 years and if you look at ISRO's feats for the past 48 years low cost launches of small and medium satellites but the biggest problem is heavy satellites like 4000 kg communication satellites India is not able to launch because it could not develop the launch vehicles which can place 4000 kg communication satellites into orbit now India is coming up with GSLV Mark 3 and next one is the launch of Chandrayaan to orbit the moon then Mars Arbiter mission at lowest possible cost, then the development of cryogenic engine by using liquid fuel, then the simultaneous launch of record number of 104 satellites is another feat, then successful conduct of RLVTD, reusable launch vehicle technology demonstrator, it is the baby step, then second one is scramjet experiment or you can say air breathing propulsion system. So, these are the feats for the past 48 years for ISRO, but a lot more needs to be done. The important point to note is private companies in US led by Elon Musk as well as Jeff Bezos are now perfecting the art of reusable rockets. Look at Elon Musk, Falcon 9 rocket is by Elon Musk similarly. Jeff Bezos Blue Origin that developed a new Shepard rocket and in fact Elon Musk recently used reusable rocket and under these circumstances two things are going to happen in future heavy weight satellites will become the norm that is one important aspect and the launch vehicles must be developed for placing them into orbit. And for heavy weight satellites, we are dependent on some other rockets and sometimes it is taking a lot of time because of the time slot for launch of satellites. 
So, under the circumstances, one thing is India should develop the infrastructure to place heavy weight satellites into orbit, that is one part and heavy weight satellites may become the norm in future. Then second point is this reusable rockets being developed by not only Elon Musk but also by Jeff Bezos. In future what happens because of reusable rockets, the launching costs may reduce substantially. Right? So, this aspect must be kept in view for the future. Then next point is data communications will see explosive growth in future. Internet of things may come into picture because of internet of things, machine to machine contacts will be established. Because of machine to machine contacts, what happens? The data required will be huge and because of that more satellites will be required. So, more satellite transponders to augment the data carrying capacity of terrestrial networks is required and whether India is ready for this or not, this is the question. Then India's launch vehicle for heavy satellites calls for further improvement as I have already told you and heavy weight satellites will become the norm in the future, just now I told you. And another point is government must fund ISRO and university departments that can do research with a view to conquer space. So, there are several challenges for ISRO. One is development of heavy weight satellites. Second one is launching heavy weight satellites into orbit. Third one, the issue of reusable rockets. Then the fourth issue is sufficient availability of transponders to take care of the needs of explosion of information in future because of internet of things. Right. So, with this let us conclude this lecture and please do join for other modules. Have a nice day. Thank you.